Here I'll show you how to use Goal Seek in Excel in order to find a desired value based off of changing an input. So you change the value of one cell so much that you find the correct result in another cell, basically. And I'll show you two ways to do this, one with the built-in feature in Excel and one way to do it by hand. So breaking all of this down into a nice, neat, simple little formula that we can use down here. Before we start, check the video description and click the link to Teach Excel so you can download the files for the tutorial and follow along. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials. All right, so in this example, what I've got is a simple stock calculation. Let's say that you paid $45.50 for a stock, you bought 125 shares, you paid this amount total, $56.87.50. The current price is $47.55. You decided you wanted to calculate the percent change, 4.51%. And if you sold it at the current price, this is how much money you'd make. And this is the gain over what you paid for the stock. So let's say here you want to figure out what the share price should be in order for you to make a $500 profit. This is the perfect reason to use Goal Seek. So we go to the Data tab, then we go to What If Analysis, and Goal Seek. Also, you could use the keyboard shortcut Alt A W G, but I never remember that. So, anyway, let's go back to this window. We have a few options here, and it's pretty self explanatory, so it's kind of difficult to forget, I'd say. You set a cell to a certain value by changing another cell. So, we're going to set cell B10. So, just click in here and then click the correct cell to the value 500, because that's how much I want to make, by changing what cell. So here we're going to change the current price. Then we hit OK. It's going to run through a bunch of iterations, and it says goal seeking with cell B10 on iteration number 1, target value 500, current value 315.69. And what we can do is look here, and it has already done that for us. It says the current price should be $49.50, and it will get us $500. So you can hit OK to accept the current values, or cancel to reset it. So OK, and now you've figured out what you need to figure out. Simple, easy, peasy. And really the only thing to remember here is that the cell that you will be changing must affect the cell down here whose result you would like to see. So in other words, if I change this cell and this cell doesn't change at all, then it's not going to work in Goal Seek. So you can see here that this formula applies to this cell and this cell, and this cell right here applies to this cell. So everything has to be linked. And when you download this workbook, you'll see all the formulas in here, very basic, simple, easy formulas. But now, let's do it by hand. So let's say that we want to just input how much we would like to make and have it automatically tell us at which price we should sell the stock. And all we need for this is a simple formula. But we have to figure out what that formula is. And if you haven't done math for a long time, this can seem a little daunting, but it's not. Let's go through a little process right now to show you how to do it. So first, figure out what do you want. You want a dollar desired, how much money you want to make, okay? So we want this right here. I want to make 500 bucks. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, so leave this intact. Let's go over here. And let's just title this Scratch Data. Go over here, paste that in. OK, this is what we want. And remember, this is a formula. So right now, it equals 500. What that means is that 500 equals B9 minus B4. But B9 and B4 are themselves formulas. So let's break this down into its individual parts instead of just these sort of obfuscated higher level cells, which means the formulas have already been calculated in those cells. So let's go ahead and make this guy text. And we want to copy this up here. 
And now let's recreate the formula. So we want to get the values for B9 first. Okay, here's B9. Copy that in there, equals. And it's always good to be liberal with your parentheses. So it was B9 minus, let's see, what were you? I can't see you, B4. So let's get B4. minus B4. Okay. Now, let's make sure there are no formulas in these guys. So we need B6, B3, and B2. So B6, just numbers, B3, and B2. So we have no more formulas to drill down into. So let's copy this guy. Go up here, make sure you are text, so we can see everything, paste it in there. And now we have a formula that we can work with. And remember that this it equals 500, so we can write it like this, just like you did in grade school math. So 500 equals B6 times B3 minus B3 times B2. Now, what do we want to do here? We want to find out what the price per share should be. So we want to isolate the price per share by itself on one side of the equal sign. The price per share, the current price right here, is B6. So we need to get B6 all alone over here. All we have to do is some simple math for that. Remember that everything to the right of the equal sign can be moved to the left of it as long as we do the opposite. So we can build our formula down here equals 500. I now want to pull this whole thing to the left of the equal sign. So I do the opposite. I add it. So plus B3 times B2. Okay, and now I cannot see it. Maybe you should put one extra cell in between the two. So we have added this guy over to the left side. And now, since we need B6 all by itself, we must remove B3. So to remove B3, since it's being multiplied, we divide the left side by B3. So let's put some more parentheses. Divide it by B3. Hit enter, and we get 49.50. So what does 49.50 mean? 49.50 is the share price that we need in order to get 500. So all we have to do now, and that's how you can make sure it works, by the way, because this is already correct due to using goal seek. So I know that I need 49.50 to get 500. And now that that's 49.50, I know I've done everything right. So let's just take this guy and put him down here. And then what we want to do is to remove the 500 and put it one cell above. So B13. 500, 49.50. And that's all there is to doing a goal seek by hand in a way, because now you don't have to open up that little window and redo everything each time. You just go down here and you say, how much money would I like to make? How about 550? Okay, so I should wait until it goes to 49.90 to sell my shares. Or what if I only had 120 shares? Then I need to wait to make 550 until it's $50.08. So what I want you to get from the second part is the method that I used. So I took the end result, a very simple formula by this point. I brought it out over here so I could keep it separate from everything. And then I started to rebuild the formula, adding all of its parts together, since it's currently now in separate cells. Going all the way down, and then using it up here as a reference, going all the way down until we get to the hard-coded value, so there's no more formulas. Now, technically, I didn't need to go that far, because I could have just used this cell reference right here and put it on the other side instead of having two cell references. But trust me when I tell you it's easier, break it down into its hard-coded values as much as you need to and go from there. And then in each step, just put what you need up here 
and finish building it below down here. It's a very simple way. The only thing you have to remember when you go about doing this is really right here. So the end result in this case of 500 is equal to this formula. And remember from math that to pull everything to the left side, you just do the opposite. And all you want here on the right side is the value, the result that you would like to get by changing what is currently on the left side of the equal sign right here. Okay, that may sound confusing, but just go through these steps here in this sample worksheet, and I think it'll help you kind of understand what's going on. But of course, you can always revert back to goal seek, data tab, what if analysis, goal seek. So which cell would you like to have end up at a certain value? What value would you like it to end up at? And which cell are you going to change to do that? And that's how you can use a goal seek in Excel. I hope you liked the tutorial. If it was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials.